sometimes I have customers they they have some question very difficult for me uh, that I I don't have answer because it's not make sense for me but for you it makes a lot of sense as a foreign girl uh, but for me as a local it's like I don't know there is quite a lot of like legit question and I do this video respectful for you and for me and for everybody because it's valid questions but there are some questions like very very difficult to ask well for me because I don't know everything <laughs> I don't know like a lot of things it's but it's funny for me and maybe it's gonna be funny for you to watch this video because the question goes from like what is the name of that tree and I am I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't have an answer for you. Or even like the most difficult or heavy question for me is, Oscar, there is drug cartels here. It's like, and you know, sometimes it's the couple and, and, and the wife say, oh, don't say, don't, don't ask Oscar that. And no, nah, it's okay, it's okay, I can ask for that. So stay with me in this video and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him, uh, the most difficult question that my customer asking me during a, during a tour, uh, some some are very legit question. I mean, it's okay because uh, you you need information uh, about uh, some um, things like uh, the the first one that they asking me about um, here in Puerto Vallarta is with the withdrawal money on the ATM on the machines. So it's it's valid question, but I can answer that question. Why? Because my bank is local. Your bank obviously is from Canada or US or another part of the world. And I don't know uh, how much is the fee or the taxes. And this is a valid question that everybody asking me. Oscar, uh, how much they charge me if I get uh, money from the ATM? I don't know. And this is a valid question. Um, answering like from me because how, how I possible I, I uh, know that it's difficult for me to know that whoever there is more videos about foreign girls uh, doing that I'm gonna put a video that I watched a uh, long time ago it's not from these days but it's gonna show you like kind of um, um, how much they charge you if you get money from the ATM machine uh, but it's like, like for me, it's like, it's difficult. I don't know. I don't know, maybe 10 pesos or 12 pesos for every, I don't know, 100 pesos or I don't know. I don't have idea. So those questions are very difficult to, uh, answer, uh, for me to, to my customers and for you. But I can tell you if you bring dollars here to Mexico, I can give you information where to, exchange the dollars or do the exchange uh, here in Puerto Vallarta. There is a few, well, normally there is a lot of banks that, or I don't know why they don't change dollars because there is not a law uh, that forbidding to change the dollars to pesos, uh, but there is several places, but the best places normally, is, uh, and this is the first place that you must to exchange the, your dollars it's uh, on Banco Azteca or Electra Stories. Is an Electra Store is always uh, Banco Azteca inside, and another one is C Bank or C Banco. There is another. This does the option that you can exchange your dollars. But talking about the ATM machines in every ATM machines, and a lot of you are afraid because oh Oscar, because I heard the news that some ATM are I don't know. Uh, with some or violated or the, they can stole your car or your information. Yes, it's happening here in Puerto Vallarta or in Mexico. Actually, it was a news about that, international news about some uh, people from uh, foreign girls that are doing that on the, on the ATMs, but not anymore. And the, the, the scam was that they put a cover when you receive the the um, the money, they just put a cover, and they just come back later and just take off the cover and, and bring all the money because it was like stuck uh, on the machine and that's it. 
but not anymore. And normally, if you have a problem with that, just call the bank or call your bank or um, asking uh, for assistance on the bank itself. Okay, it's very easy. So for me, if you ask me how much they're gonna charge me if I do the withdrawal in the ATM, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an idea, I don't have a clue. Could be 10 pesos, 100 pesos, 60 pesos, I don't know, okay? The another one is when there is uh, bad weather, hurricanes, big storms. A lot of people asking me, Oscar, I'm gonna arrive next week um, to Puerto Vallarta, there is gonna be hurricanes? And I'm, I hope not, but I don't know for sure. I, I mean, nobody knows with that time of, uh, <laughs> with, I don't know, nobody knows. I mean, it's mother nature, it's the planet, like, uh, I hope not, but sometimes it happens. Uh, last year we have, we don't have it. Uh, I hope this month not happen again. I mean, because I want to know if I'm gonna cancel, and, and I said like, okay, but just check the the forecast, check the weather in Mexico, in the Pacific Ocean. We are like in the middle of Mexico. You can check every day, and but but I really need to know because maybe I can reschedule. Okay, <laughs> like if that's is up to you. I don't know for sure. Sometimes we have. Uh, the forecast said it's a lot of chances, like 40% of chances uh, formation of a hurricane, but mostly of the hurricanes just pass far away from our coast in Puerto Vallarta. And sometimes they pass like not so far away, like close to Puerto Vallarta, and we don't have any kind of uh, nothing, okay? We don't have like no aftermaths on the hurricane, they pass it. So it's okay to stay here in Puerto Vallarta. And there is a few, a few chances that hurricane hits in Puerto Vallarta. In 15 years, we have only one hurricane hit was Kena and another one two years ago just passed. Even doesn't hit in, uh, Puerto Vallarta, okay? Last year we have hurricane passing, no affectation, okay? No affectation. So people asking me about the weather like for tomorrow, well, tomorrow is like more likely that I know when what, what's gonna happen. But like these days it's so hot in Puerto Rico, the last, the last week of uh, September and we expect rains and it's rained just a little, it just like, this is worse that we need the rain. <laughs> it's what's happening with the weather. So it's, I mean, it's, it's valid questions, but I can, I cannot know when it's gonna happen a hurricane. I hope, like, I wish to have that power that I, uh, to tell you this is gonna be a hurricane next week, cancel, risk catch you, but no, I can't, okay? <laughs> and even, I don't know about the weather conditions, I'm not an expert, okay? But it's funny because a lot of people are very serious uh, asking about that and, and, and I must answer, you know? because what kind of um, YouTuber I am doing this misleading information? <laughs> what? Okay. The another thing, the another question, it's a valid question, but it's very difficult. Oscar, what are the best tacos in town? There is no valid as word for that. <laughs> there is no valid as word for that. It's very subject, uh, subjective or su subject question. I mean, it depends for everybody, uh, for everyone. I mean, for me, the best tacos are in that place and for another people are another tacos. Like, could be, I don't know, my tacos that I always go because I always go to there, I don't know. But I'll, there is a lot of people on tacos in the Zona Romantica doing big lines. Never happens on my uh, regular uh, tacos place, <laughs> but they're very tasty. Like it's like, there is no 
valid answer. And I think it's a legit question, but it's very difficult to answer. We don't have a score. We don't have a rank here. Like TripAdvisor give you some, I don't know, um, idea. And I can give you an idea. But luckily for you and for me, I have a taco tour. So if you want to uh, book a private taco tour with me, uh, I promise they're going to show the tacos that I love here in Puerto Vallarta that are not very touristy, they're more authentic. And if you want to try that options, uh, you can go to my website. I'm going to put the link here, here, and you can book the trip with me. But it's difficult. A lot of my customers uh, try, because this is a, an idea that everybody has about tacos, like tacos, uh, like they, they, they only want to try al pastor tacos. It looks like al pastor tacos is it's the king, but it's not because I try like four times with the customers. Uh, some are like taco tours and some like, like uh, it's not the taco tour, it's just we go straight to, uh, to the tacos and birria tacos, uh, like all my customers say are the best. And there is a few places that I could tell you that are the best birria tacos. And sometimes it's like depends of the el taquero um, about to make the taco. Sometimes even in my regular taco place, it's like, ah, this tastes different this morning. I don't know what's happening with el taquero when uh, he made the tacos. I don't know. But normally uh, birria tacos are the best is that the i don't know most popular uh between my customers op uh, option you know so it's difficult question but uh i can i can i can help you to find out with a private tour tacos okay and the last one and it's not my favorite question about the security here in puerto Vallarta. And you know what I'm talking about. Yes, a lot of people asking me, there is bad guys here. And, and Oscar, what is that? There is a, the bad guys here, like in Puerto Vallarta? And I, no. You know the answer. This is Mexico, but Puerto Vallarta is very, very safe place. And that's the most, or the top, the top, um, question that my customers asking me about that and let me tell you puerto vallarta it's become a paradise for everybody even for those guys or for the bad people uh local bad people or foreign bad people there is a lot of people who is like uh, is stay here in puerto vallarta hide from the authorities even from us or canada or even here in mexico they stay here there is uh, bad guys, uh, sexual predators, and it's kind of a Puerto Vallarta offer like this um, kind of, um, I don't know what you say, fachada. Like um, it's a, it's, it's, it looks like it's a great place for stay high here in Mexico for those people. Uh, but in Puerto Vallarta, we don't have that's, that's kind of issue there, very, like, very difficult with the bad guys here that you call. Yes. Uh, and um, Puerto Vallarta is pretty, pretty safe, very, very safe. But if you want, like, uh, more um, legit answer, uh, you need to talk with me directly about that. I would never say nothing about that in public because uh, it's a uh, very... Uh, difficult uh, question and you must to know the context about what's happening here and what's happening in Mexico. Because I hear a lot of my customers ask, uh, saying me or telling me their stories because they're going to travel here to Puerto Vallarta and with their families or friends um, um, asking, oh, you're going to, you're going to Mexico? Oh, no. oh no, Mexico is so dangerous. And when they stay here, like, what are you talking about? Mexico is very safe for Puerto Vallarta, at least Puerto Vallarta is very safe. But indeed, there is uh, places where it's kind of dangerous to stay. Uh, not here, Puerto Vallarta is pretty safe, uh, but there is some places that are not nice to stay. 
If you want more information about um, or your difficult question, please email me. Uh, I can, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to help you with your difficult question or leave me a comment um, here on, on, on the, uh, below the, the video description about your more difficult question for me and if I can ask her, okay? That's all for now. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share and see you next time. Bye-bye.